All right, Louis Loco Lin. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks, Dev. You all right, mate? I'm okay, I'm okay. First thing, we've got, we've got to address, right? Yeah. Now, I understand, after a consultation with me, yeah. you've actually dropped the uh, triple L thing that you were going to go with yeah. as your nickname. So talk to me about that. Well, obviously, I had to listen to expert advice, and <laughs> you know what you're talking about. No, and I thought, obviously, you got triple D and triple G, and I, I, I'm happy with Loco, and I thought I'd stick with that. But I've still, my sponsor done it for me on the back of my socks, triple well on the back, some nice Uzi Wong socks though, so it's all good in it, I'll have it on there, that's alright. Yeah, my, my only concern was I didn't want people to think that you've taken three losses so early in your career, that was, yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. we ain't got to worry about it, taking <laughs> losses mate, that's all good, I trained too hard for that. So your last fight, yeah. Monty Ogilvy, another, yeah. another one behind closed doors, it was yeah. live on BT Sport, what are your reflections on that fight? Um, obviously I've got got a bit too excited and, and, and uh, was a bit too keen and too eager. But been working on that and I'll be honest, in, in, in the gym we've been um, been boxing more as well because like, yeah, m moving and taking your time a little bit and not always going in but obviously that's, that's how I like to fight. And, and, um, but no, I was, I was pleased with that fight and you know, just got to keep learning and one fight at a time. Yeah, you, you say you got carried away, I think you, you might, might have got told off on, on the night as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you say you've been working on that. How can you work on calming down? How can well, you work on the scenario where the fella's down on the floor and you, you're thinking, I'm just going to finish off my well, combo? it's true, it's true. You can't, you like, in all honesty, I know, how do you yeah. prepare for that? You know what I mean? Like, my mum even said to me today, she's like, but if, if, if you drop him, just make sure, you know? Like I said, all right, mum, I'm going to try my best. That's all I can do. Like, when, uh, I, I fight aggressively and, and coming forward, so I just got to, just gotta, yeah, just hope, hope, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's Paul Holt yeah. on Saturday night. What do you know about him? Um, I know he's a, he's a southpaw and, and, and he's like a he's like a tough, good fighter. So should be should make for a good fight. Well, he's been on BT Sport before. It was probably a couple of years ago now. Yeah. Where he took on Leon Woodstock, gave him a good fight, and yeah. then got stopped. I watched that. Yeah. You've seen it. I only see, yeah, that's 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 what all I really see of him. And I thought, yeah, he, he looked good obviously up until till he got stopped, didn't he? So. So yeah, it's all good. I, I, I spar southpaws, and I'm not worried about um, any southpaw. But obviously, I'm not. I'm not taking him lightly. You know, I'm tre I'm treating him like he's he's the best because that's that's what I'm preparing for. So just got to go out there and, and um, just let it flow and do the business, mate. Do you think um, Gosley Leon would stop stopped him? Mm. Do you think you have to do the same? Yeah, I, I want to stop all my opponents. To be honest with you, mm. and that's that's what what I aim for. Obviously, you got. Box clever and don't rush it, but that's that's what I'm looking to do to everyone. Like I said in the last interview, whoever they put in front of me, that's what I'm looking to do. Is how I fight. So yeah, God willing, get it done in um, in devastating fashion. <laughs> um, how's it been for you? Just sort of cooped up in your room, kind of thing. Have you been going mad? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, done done a little bit of shadow boxing and that yesterday, but it's it's not it's not so bad, is it? You know what I mean? Just got to rest and relax and just just wait. Just got to ride it out and. And that's it, really, isn't it? Just take your time, chill out. Well, I always, always follow you on, uh, <coughs> follow you on Instagram. I always see you're going out for runs. You know, even after you've had a training session, you could be mm. going for a, like a massive run in the evening. So I've got this image in my head of you just running around your hotel room. That's not not the case, right? No, that's not the case. Luckily, I'm saving it. Uh, Martin says it's like you've got all this energy. It's in the can. You've got to keep it in the can and then then open it and, and let it all out on, on the night. So try and try my best to do that. Anyway, just had a little run earlier just for the weight and, and, and that's it, Noth nothing major. Big show, big show you're yeah. a part of. You, you must yeah. be hyped to be on this show. Oh yeah, it's a very big show, isn't it? It's massive and what, what a great fight and the main event and, and all the undercard, it's got a great undercard. And yeah, I'm over the moon, like, do you know what I mean? This is, this is uh, I'm living the dream right now. So like I say to you, I just got to go out there and just do the business now. That's, that's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You've been training with Daniel, you're obviously at, at the new Peacock gym. Yeah. Um, firstly, tell me, how's that going? You know, the new Peacock looks a hell of a setup there. Oh, yeah, it's an amazing gym and it's out the way, tucked away, got, got everything you need. Got a great team there, Martin Bowers, Ray Ball, Eric, um, Martin and Adam. So, great sparring and that. And it's got everything you need, really. And how, how's it training with Daniel every day? What are, you, what are you seeing from him that the public aren't seeing? Um, just seeing his dedication and, and his discipline and, and how hard he works every day and seeing him spar on that. I've seen a lot of his sparring for this camp and it's great to watch it like, ooh, like, yeah, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, no, that's it. Just just seeing him turn up every day, putting the work in and training like a great champion that he is. So he's got a belt. Denzel's got a belt now. Yeah. Chris Bork, yeah, he's Chris got, a got a belt. Yeah. When are you getting yours? 
hopefully in, in early in the new year as soon as I can you know what I mean but like I said in, in before I'm not obviously looking past this fight I need to make sure do the job do it well but um but yeah I'm coming for all the belts there all the belts mate <laughs> so what's going to happen Saturday night tell us um you're going to see a big win you're going to see a big win mate and that's it yeah all right loco good luck yeah thank you very much Dave cheers mate appreciate it now, Louis, you actually left this interview without thanking your sponsors. Know, well, there, come right. on, give them a big know, thank you. I know, a big thank you to my sponsors, MR Scaffolding, Carey's, Phoenix Limited, um, Designer Advocates. I don't know if I've left someone out. I mean, let, let's hope not. We'll, we can literally pause the interview so you make sure you get them in. Yeah, hold on, MR Scaffolding, Carey's, Phoenix Limited, and yeah, Designer Advocates, yeah. Thank you very much for sponsoring me and supporting me and getting me in. Now it's up to me, let's go. Well remembered. Yeah, All right, see you later. Yeah. Nice up, mate. You got there in the end, didn't you? <laughs>